the first time I saw you, apart from when you were in Emmerdale, yeah. was Naked Truth. Oh, amazing. Yeah, yeah. And you, was that at the Grand? I uh, know, that was at Litchfield Garrick. Litchfield I Garrick, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, first run, wasn't it? Yeah, first run. When you were Bev. Bev, that's right. And then yeah. it went out, well, I did a further, that was the first tour. Yeah. Then I did a further two more tours with it. Then there was the show went out twice without me involved. Then it went back a fifth time, and then I got the uh, the joy of directing the new the new cast, which was fantastic. Yeah, and meant you didn't have to go up a pole. I did. I couldn't stop myself. I couldn't stop myself. And now I'm so much smaller. I got up so much quicker, <laughs> which is great. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You have you have lost quite a bit since the the first tour, haven't you? Oh, oh yeah, ten yeah. and a half stone now. Yeah, yeah it's crazy. Yeah. And still, still dropping. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, and what's that? Was that was a, sort of did that start with uh, Strictly? Yeah, kind. Of, I think that kind of like kicked my metabolism. But I think also like consumption and, and my lifestyle and everything's changed for the good. Mm. And I think this is kind of part and parcel of it. Well, you're looking really, really good. Now. Thank you. Really that means good. a lot. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> so, what about panto? I mean, how many pantos have you done now? This will be my seventeenth on the run. Yes, I know. It's like today I'm sat here and here I am, the girl that turned 40 in July, yeah. right? And I'm very proud that I'm 40 and I'm still doing what I love. You know, when it's the industry from being like nine years old, amazing, still going. And then I was like, wow, I was at the Grand in Panto in 2000, the millennium, which is kind of 16 years ago. Mm. And yeah, so, I've, and, I, and I've never not done pantomime. I wouldn't know what to do myself at Christmas without it. Um, it, it's something I'm so proud of, and I think it's a tradition that we must keep hold of. We don't have very many traditions now in this country of our own, and, and, I, and I love the fact that we have it. And I think it's proof in the pudding that here we are at the Grand, you're like one of the number one venues in the whole country. Then you have the smaller venues, you know, like your Litchfield Garricks, like for example. And then you've got like, you know, your Amdram societies and also, you know, your brownies, your, your cubs. Everyone does panto. So I think it's kind of proof in the pudding that everybody just loves it. And for me, to be part of it as a performer is the icing on the cake. I love it. So what's, what do you really enjoy about panto? Um, okay, you know that, you know the part in Mary Poppins where they jump into the floor, mm -hmm. you know, with Bert and Mary Poppins and the kids. That's what Panto is about. We let you jump into us. It's not like going and seeing Dirty Dancing where it's like, oh my God, this is a great musical. And I, and I go and see these musicals, I love them, you know. My friends are in them, I'm in them, and plays and stuff. We let you in. We want you to kind of go, here's two hours, we give you the free reins to have the best fun of your life, make as much noise, we're going to tell you a story, there is a moral to it, and you're going to take the moral away and pass it on to other people, which is what we want. But fundamentally, we are opening our door to you to say, right, come and join us. And I think we currently now, I mean, I have it with my nephews who are like six and two, where, you know, they have the iPads and the tablet, and it's a very, I find that quite lonely. I'm a bit of an advocate for that, that when I go home to Manchester, whenever I get home, um, and I say, right, you know, Put the, put the tablet down, put the iPad down. Now it's like, you know, we, everything is interactive. Well, I want to be, I'm a human being. I want to be interactive. It's like when I go into shops or supermarkets, I get so frustrated. Cause it's like, you know, this, I, I, I like people. I'm a people person, you know, I want to talk to someone and that's all part and parcel of it. And that's what Panto does. It is interactive with other beings and we want you to, to get involved. And it's important and it's probably the first thing that a lot of kids see that's theatre. Yeah, theatre, and it gets them through the door, you know, and and it's, it's all well and good, you know, like obviously when you look, you look at like the enormous brands like your Peppa Pig, you know, we're, we are we are basically, the book is coming to life, that, that book for the child that they've probably had for their bedtime story for, for since they were born, we're bringing that to life and, and I love being a part of that for them. And you're straight of the ring, aren't you? Slave. Slave of the ring. Oh, yes, sorry, sorry. I'm a slave. That's Dan Market from a spirit, <laughs> isn't it? I'm going one more up, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, it's great. I've, I've played this role once before. Um, I've done Aladdin now. This is my fourth time. Um, I've done uh, Empress of China twice and, and this this part once before. But this one's going to be completely different, yeah. We are strictly fine Wolverhampton. Yes, which is going to be great. <laughs> so it's going to be a lot of references to Strictly. Isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I was told I wasn't allowed to tell anybody that we are doing the big routine, and uh, but uh, apparently I am now allowed to say <laughs> that it's happening. Yeah, it's yeah. just so nice that people still want to see me dance. So.
Yeah. Yeah, long may that carry on. Well, you, you, you hosted the tour, didn't you? For yeah, I did it in Birmingham years. two years. Yeah. Well, I danced the first year mm. with me and Robin, and then the following two years I was, I was mm. the host, which was great. Mm. And, uh, and then I gave, I gave it up. I was like, oh, I've got to have a little break after. Because obviously what would happen was I did panto, and I didn't even get a day off. I went straight into the arena tour, um, and that would take me all the way through to the beginning of March, you know. So it's sort of my, my, my beginning of my year was like beginning, end of November. So I kind of was like, no, if I'm doing panto, mm. I can uh, I can stop doing the arena tour for a bit. So then, it's a great script, and and I just said it's like you know when you get a massive box of Christmas chocolates, right? Mm. And you might go, oh, do you know what? I don't like the coffee keg, and I don't like the orange cream. I honestly think, I mean, literally just standing there today with all the cast, there's something for everybody. There's not a flavour that we've that we've left out, mm. um, and that's wonderful. I mean, it really does tick every box, and I think the casting. I've never ever in my whole panto career known casting like it is it's fantastic um, we've got literally this this cocktail of every little ingredient it's, it's gonna be great including Dory oh, Dory, I know, I love it. but then I'm gonna be doing I'm gonna be doing it the accent all the time mm. and I've got to stop myself yeah so well, Dory tells me that if she can't be asked she'll just lie on the bed and not say anything so. <laughs> that's great though that's what everyone wants to see <laughs> and she's made that character so popular yeah mm. So I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I can't wait to share the stage with her. It's going to be fun. Right, that's super. Thank you so much. Thanks very much Thank indeed. Thank you.